reason we're interested in the Bell Screen product. It is the only product like it on the market right now, and it retails for $69.99, so it also provides very good income from the pharmacy. And it works in several ways. It helps to not only gain awareness around bowel screening and self-testing for people at home, but it also provides a very good revenue source for pharmacies that are promoting it. It's very much about providing new and innovative services for patients, ease of access, convenience and also personalised and supportive advice from the pharmacist which is personalised to them. We're very fortunate that PBL and care chemists have access to this new product. It's something which is exclusive to us and it's important for us as a group to really get behind and support these kinds of new innovative services. Customers really recognise that we're at the forefront of healthcare and personalised advice. Last year we went to a training course. They showed us on how to do the vaccination, how to inject it and all the side effects that could happen. I wasn't very confident at the start when, when you do something like that as, as a pharmacist. When we got trained it, it was very simple and easy technique to do. Basically we just starting from early winter we put more flyers, get people more to know that we're actually as pharmacists doing the vaccination and targeting businesses as well. Talk to the staff and give them good discount doing them all together. We embrace what pharmacy brands offer us. It will help us in becoming good health professionals. Starting up a new pharmacy is very important. The location, I think, is the main thing. You've got to make sure that the location is going to work for you. You've got to make sure that there's doctors around. And thirdly, I think you've got to make sure that you're not stepping on anyone's toes. Pharmacy brands help a lot with that. So um, if you've got that behind you, I don't think you've got anything to worry. UPO are basically the designers of the shop. They're associated with pharmacy brands. They were fantastic from the get-go. We got together in a cafe and just got over the designs that they suggested for us with a bit of tweaking according to our comfort levels and what they suggested worked out to be this fantastic looking store. They did emphasize the importance of a big and spacious dispensary. They also realized the importance of uh, everything fitting into everything. So the fixtures and fittings were very good. I mean, they, they stand out nicely and they're at the right height, very functional. Every shelf fits everywhere. They organize the painting, the flooring, uh, the lighting, the, even the security alarms and the electricity. So it was very, very simple. The cost savings were pretty impressive. Uh, they were probably around the 30 or 40 percent mark. As far as I'm concerned, I thought it was going to be a difficult job, but I could do this over and over if I had to because UPO took over everything. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to hear customers compliment us on the store and say how lovely it looks. I notice my staff are using this facility here, the studio and the makeover facility a lot more than they have done in the past. To date we are trying to do in-store promotions where we have my own staff promoting a range or we have invited representatives from our prestige companies to come in and cold canvas their range to the public. The customers enjoy the fact that they can touch and feel and use the product easily. My staff are always there, they're trained, they're ready to help anybody that's looking. And I think it gives my staff more opportunity to pick up sales. I want to inspire other stores to be as successful as us here at Browns Bay and our key is using the tools given to us by support office, implementing planograms and promotional ends and driving the sales and engaging the team. The planograms do have a method behind them and a reason for where things are so it makes sense to put it all in place and quickly and make it easier for the, the customers, maximise on those sales and follow it exactly how it is. Key for us in our store is availability. If it's not on the shelf you can't sell it. Promotional activity changeover usually ends on a Sunday and then starts live on a Monday. So we usually plan for ours and we'll have our promo ends all set up on the Saturday and ready for a ticket changeover and everything on Monday. Well if you don't have a good product selection and no one 
proven brands or stock availability, the staff aren't going to get behind selling it or be enthusiastic about selling it. So they've got to believe in what they're selling. So training is key so that they understand each and every product that's on the shelves. We've got a new initiative, Red Seed, which will help them engage with the customers and pass on that knowledge of those products. The ability to tailor the ordering according to the shop size or the volume has been hugely important for us. So we started off at the bottom obviously with the order packages and every now and then if we think the deal is good for us we order a bigger package because that means we have the comfort basically of returning the stock if it doesn't sell. We've worked hard with our natural health area over the last uh, about 18 months really came about seeing Greg Maffitt at the Pharmacy Brands Conference back in 2010. Coming away from that, we realised that we were really missing the boat on that market. We were not focusing on the use of natural health as a supplementary product to use with our regular medication. So what we came away with, the little uh, form that we put together very quickly, it just basically a pharmacist recommendation one, just picking out the easy picks, CoQ10, antibiotic support etc. So we've really focused on about four or five products and during that time we've actually managed to lift our natural health by about 40%. When they've received medication that may require some extra boost with, uh, we talk to them about the product. Should they not wish to obviously purchase a product or go with it right then and there, we do make sure that they go away with a little card information. Sometimes it's an information supplied by a manufacturer and in some cases it's more of a generic form. And we find now people coming in with their prescriptions for antibiotics go straight to the fridge, pick up their probiotic as they're coming in. So we're getting that change, uh, we're getting some of the doctors on board. I think Pharmacy Brand supports us in a, in a lot of ways with natural health. I mean, A, it's providing us an area of learning, so organised to get Greg Map over be able to do that at Auckland rather than having to go to Australia, that was fantastic. And also their continual marketing strategy, pharmacy brands is supplying that knowledge and the marketing.